Do you ever experience a dysfunctional relationship where you are connected to someone but it doesn't feel quite right? The connections aren't smooth. Perhaps it lacks grounding, perhaps it's something else. Shalom, welcome back to the Kabbalah Sutras, 49 Steps to Enlightenment. This is day six in our 49 day biblical count of Sfirat HaOmer. Today's focus is connected love and healthy bonding. Healthy bonding within the way we give to others, the way we love. The Kabbalists call this Yesod Sheba Chesed, or bonding in love. These teachings are intended to help you find inner peace, have a strong body, and live the mission of your soul. Our first week focuses specifically on the quality of loving kindness or love in action. On the Tree of Life diagram, this is the Sphira, the divine sphere known as Chesed. We see dysfunctional relationships everywhere. Yesod, bonding, is the spiritual quality of bonding and connecting with someone else. When we rush to bond with someone in a romantic situation without fully knowing them, you know what I'm talking about here, ties can be created and these ties can be complicated or painful to break. The Lubavitcher Rebbe taught that those who are together when they should be apart will be apart when they should be together. Rushing into physical intimacy is really the basis for lasting and knowing relationships. This principle also applies to business in the way that you connect with other people. When a salesperson is clearly interested only in selling us a product rather than finding out what we really need, rather than actually caring, this is a form of dysfunctional yesod bonding, dysfunctional bonding. When first of all we focus on the other person, connect with them, then find out who they really are, what they need, how we can give to them, chesed, this is a greater way of finding deeper yesod, deeper bonding. Today's yoga pose is Salamba Sirshasana, a headstand. Stay grounded in your yoga practice as a rooting or having this strong foundation. Make sure your head is really connected to the ground. You can do a modified version, keep breathing and keep connected. And if you're at the gym, then the gym practice is a seated overhead press or some kind of lifting action. Use grounding and try and stay connected to your core, stay connected to your root. And then you can take this to your relationships, to your business, to your workplace, even staying connected to your goals. So this is a way we love. We can do it with peace, with calm and with giving, but also by being grounded and having a healthy connection. If you'd like to learn more about this, and there's quite a lot more that I've written on it, do check out the book, The Kabbalah Sutra, is available on Amazon. And you can also subscribe to this channel to get these videos and sign up at marcusjfreed.com. In the meantime, stay loving, stay grounded, and stay connected. Thank you for watching. I'm Marcus. Be happy, stay happy, and celebrate life. Shalom. I look forward to seeing you for tomorrow's video, day seven. See you soon. Bye-bye.